Okay, this is a uh, 1969 uh, Dodge A100 uh, cab forward pickup truck. And uh, I've had it for almost three years, and uh, it's great. I love driving this, uh, this little truck. It doesn't go too fast because of the rear gearing, but uh, usually when I'm on the highway, like today, coming down here to Jersey for the meet, I get in the right-hand lane, and uh, I do my 55, maybe 60, with a good tailwind. <laughs> and uh, it's great to drive. I get a lot of looks, and uh, the kids love it. It's usually the kids and the, uh, the senior citizens, because they remember the truck when they first came out. Uh, it's not the original color. Uh, originally, I believe it was a very dark far screen, and uh, it was repainted this aqua aqua color uh, before, just before I bought the bought the truck three years ago. What's it like to drive? Um, it's yeah, it's noisy. Uh, it gets a little warm on summer days. But uh, it's great. It's got the solid front axle, so you feel you feel the road. You really feel the road a lot. But that's that's part of the charm. It's got a homemade rear bumper, which I did not uh, put on. It was there when I bought the uh, bought the vehicle, uh, which is probably stronger than the original bumper. Uh, I purchased the truck in Mastic, Long Island, out uh, out by the uh, North Shore, and I went out with a flatbed truck, sight unseen, and I bought the truck that same evening. I flatbedded it at home to Mount Vernon, New York. And uh, that's just about, about the only thing I really had to do with this is uh, replace the oil pump because the oil pressure wasn't up to my, uh, my standards. So I replaced the oil pump and uh, that cured the problem. And the next thing I'm going to do with the truck is uh, wet sand it and, uh, and buff it out because there's a lot of orange peel on the truck. We here at Opar have to say thank you to Dave Edwards for giving us his time, letting us film and photograph his truck, and for giving us more of an idea of what it's like to actually have such a piece of history. Dave does have A100 vans as well, which are similar, and at least one of those has been profiled in major Mopar magazines. We do encourage you to visit Opar at opar.com. We have trucks covered at opar.com slash trucks.html. We also cover vans. We'll see you there.